Good afternoon. I just wanted to do a quick video of the 2010 blood bow or 2011 rather blood bows that I have. These guys, as you can know, this one here is the male. As you can see, has a very bright color about him. Can't wait until he gets older. Do some fun things with him. Got a couple leopard females that I could maybe use with them, or sharp albino females, or who knows what, endless opportunities, really. But I really like this guy. He's nice and red. Kind of like a reddish-orange color, but I doubt he's going to brown out at all as he gets older. Should be a really nice adult, nice and contrasty. I like how his, like he's almost got like a, a vibrant, like, orangeness about him. I think the female has a more unique look because she's actually a little bit darker. And that her saddles are really dark, but her pattern, her base color is the same, so it gives her a real unique look. There she is. Now what I would initially, what I would actually eventually like to do with these is actually take them to a Bowman Carmel and then breed him to her and then breed my male, which is this little fellow, to a nice sharp albino female I have, which See if I can pull her out of one of the other cages real quick. Here's one of my smaller sharp albino girls. Great color, nice pattern, all that good stuff. Should be a pretty fantastic adult whenever it comes time to throw those little guys together but that way I'll end up with by breeding him to her I'll end up with double head sharp bloods and then by breeding the um my bowman caramel male to this girl I'll end up with double head bowman caramel bloods and this guy is actually in shed right now surprisingly but he's down the road, it'd be definitely an awesome pairing to you know, pretty much have that color on those bows. I think it would look better than the, uh, the Central American T positives or Central American T positive bloods that have made, been made so far. Pardon, this guy is actually in shed right now, but can't wait until he, you know, gets a little bit more size on him and. And hopefully breed this upcoming year. Definitely be good. That's pretty much what I want to do is put him with her and then the other female the other male with my one of my female sharp albinos. And then just be good because then I could produce potentially the first uh paradigm bloods which I think would be phenomenal just because of the amount of yellow and the paradigms and the amount of red that's in these guys. Hopefully the camera's actually picking them up pretty nicely. I mean they're it's kinda hard to really show these guys. But they're just real vibrant and red and just very unique animals. Both of them I like for their own reasons. I mean, where you put them next to each other, you can kind of see the difference as far as, like, how dark her saddles are in comparison to how bright his are. Either way, this, these are probably one of the, the first bloods that I've actually really got a chance to really see and interact with in person that look fairly nice. A lot of them you see these days seem to be uh, mixed out with the uh, Colombian um, like hypo lines and stuff along those lines which kind of seems to in my opinion muddy them up a little bit so 
so instead you end up with like a brown hypo, you know, and instead I definitely want to have a nice, rich, vibrant red snake in the way they should be, given their name. And there's a lot of good potential out there because there are not many blood combinations available or out there right now. The only ones that have currently been produced are hypo bloods as well as uh, albino bloods in both the sharp and call strains. But either way, they're great looking snakes and definitely look forward to uh, doing a lot more with them. Hopefully you checked out the video and if you have any suggestions on what I should put with them, just let me know. Alright, thanks.